Well, stores are pulling out all the stops to entice shoppers in these final hours of Black Friday. Julia Fellow talked to shoppers at Brookfield Square to see if all the hype worked. Julia. <laughs> and Mike and Carol, everyone I spoke to today say that all the hustle and bustle was worth it. Although the lines were very long and the parking was just a nightmare, families say they loved it. It was all part of the fun. With prices slashed by 50% or more, the crowds in Brookfield come as no surprise. The Milky Brothers are on round two of battling those lines. They say it's all well worth it after saving $500 on six HD TVs at Walmart. When you start trying to walk up to your family that are standing in line, they just get really angry when you walk past them and glare at you, and they just kind of start pushing you. With matching Black Friday t-shirts, this Brownsville family have shopping down to a science. What you guys get so far? It's in the we, car already. No, we've, we've, we've made, made a couple trips. trips. Car. <laughs> it's very chaotic. <laughs> be patient. You have to be patient. Take your time. Have a plan. Others are taking a gamble, like this shopper who knocked $500 off a 55-inch smart TV. He found it in the nick of time. Packers uh, football, so we can actually see the whole screen now. The hard part may be figuring out how to get it all home. Back out here live at the Brookfield Square Mall. It has been open many of the stores since yesterday at 6 o'clock. It closes tonight at 10 o'clock, but you may want to check in with your favorite stores this weekend. Many of those stores are honoring those doorbuster deals. They want to keep those sales rolling in. Reporting live in Brookfield, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. I think the Milky Brothers are going to have all their friends over to watch the Packers game on those six TVs. Thanks a lot, Julia.